Following last night's presidential debate, both candidates are now turning their attention to the South. This afternoon, President Joe Biden held a campaign event in Raleigh, North Carolina. I don't speak as smoothly as I used to. I don't deba debate as well as I used to. But I know what I do know. I know how to tell the truth. I know how to get things done. And I know what millions of Americans know. When you get knocked down, you get back up. As for former President Trump, he spoke at a campaign event in Chesapeake, Virginia. This election is a choice between strength and weakness, competence and incompetence. Is a vote for stopping Joe Biden's inflation, stopping the border invasion, and very simply making America great again. Well, as of this afternoon, both campaigns are still committed to a second debate in September. And joining us now is Face the Nation moderator Margaret Brennan. So, Margaret, thanks for joining us. What are the takeaways after last night's presidential debate from you? Well, it is not at all what the Biden campaign had wanted uh, the day after a debate in which they had hoped it would show contrast between two candidates in a way that helped Joe Biden, the reverse happened. Uh, and in fact, the White House having to come out and swat down the idea that Joe Biden would be stepping aside or considering um, removing himself from the top of the ticket in some way. Those are not the questions the Biden campaign wanted to be answering, nor the White House. So uh, now that draws uh, into question once again what this head-to-head -head race, a uh, head-to-head -head race we know, according to CBS polling, few people wanted to see a rematch of. Um, what is next in these next four months? Uh, are we, uh, what are we headed for exactly here? Um, Natasha and Siafa, we're going to be talking a lot about this on Sunday's program. We have Jim Himes from the House Intelligence Committee to talk about the very serious issues facing the country right now, uh, and Wes Moore, the Democratic mayor, uh, governor of Maryland, who is viewed as one of those fresh faces that might be at the top of the ticket four years from now. Yeah, certainly lots to discuss. Margaret Brennan, thank you so much for joining us. Host and moderator of Face the Nation will be watching. Well, you